Hey, friends and family. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And today I have a necklace I'm going to be making with the beautiful polymer clay that artist Beth Sullivan sent me. She sent me a ton. And this is the piece I chose to work with today. I just love all the colors. And I love the marbling effect and the striations. And then there's a little bit of glitter in there. Very, very pretty. Both sides are beautiful. I had a hard time deciding which side. But I think I'm going to do this side because it had more of the pinks, which I've got, as you can see. I pulled out a bunch of beads that I thought would coordinate right here. And also, uh, I, I wanted to just refine what I said when I did uh, my friend mail reveal. She had sent me a comment that this uh, little bowl can be used by the sink to put your rings in, like a little ring bowl. So I wanted to make sure I clarified that. And also these she strung just for the sake of um, sending them, but you can take this apart obviously and do whatever you want with it, with these lentil beads. They're so cool. Anyway, I wanted to get that out of the way and make sure I clarified that. And uh, tonight I think, I. Uh, I'm going to do a um, kind of an asymmetrical uh, necklace because this is so organic looking that I don't really want to make anything totally patterned, if, if, you, if that makes sense. I'm going to be using some Softflex craft wire to make the, uh, I'm going to do a little treatment on top of this. You really pretty focal. She was, she did put the loop in there for you. Uh, and then I'm also going to use some Butterscotch Imperial Topaz color um, soft flex in the medium. So what I thought I would do first, I found this bead. And I'm going to just kind of roll it around so you can see. It pretty much picks up every color that's in this pendant. Um, and I just love it. So I'm going to put this on top of this, and that's going to be our focal piece. So I'm going to do that first. Uh, and like I said, this is going to be an asymmetrical type necklace. So I am going to use some 22 gauge non-tarnished copper wire from Softlex. I'm going to pull a bunch of it just so I have enough to do what I need to do. And I am going to just do a wire wrap here. Just like this. It's actually Saturday around 11. I uh, meant to do this last night, but uh, worked late and then thought, well, I'll have dinner and I'll relax for a bit and then I'll make my video. <laughs> well, guess what happened? I had dinner and I passed out. <laughs> so I know I said I was going to do this last night, but I, you know, sometimes you just got to stop. Your body lets you know. And mine was not letting me get away with getting off the couch and doing any beating work. So... <laughs> Hence why I'm doing this this morning, but that's okay. I'll just get a video out to you earlier this weekend. Hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. And for those of you that are mothers, happy Mother's Day to you early tomorrow. I'm lucky because I have a mom and a bonus mom. So I am very fortunate. All right, so now we have this. I'm going to put this gorgeous bead. This is a boho bead from uh, Jesse James bead mix that I had uh, some leftovers of. And these are great to hang on to for projects such as this. So we got some soft flex, some Jesse James beads, and some Beth Sullivan. They are all in good company. Okay. So 
So you can see I have a variety of things that I've pulled. I just basically took the pendant and pulled colors from it that I wanted to represent from the pendant. And that's what's so awesome about these pieces from Beth is that they have already a color scheme for you. So all you have to do is take whatever stash you have and match some things. And I think you can't go wrong. I mean, the pendant's stunning, so you know anything you pick is going to look amazing with it. So here is our really pretty bale. I mean, hanging. I don't know if I said that right. So let me just walk you through what I have over here. Uh, I did pull some dark blues. There's just a tiny bit of dark something in there, and I thought I would grab that. Of course, we have our teal teal beads. And then I grabbed these really cool druzy beads. They have the, some of that sparkle that this pendant has. And uh, a little bit of cream and bronze bicones. And then I got this gold stone sticks out. Because look, at these have this, the shimmer also. So I'm going to use those. And then, of course, I had to grab some pinks. And I wanted, there's some dark and light pinks in here. So here's kind of the darker pinks and the lighter pinks. And then I just grabbed like really interesting beads. Like I said, this is going to be an asymmetrical necklace. I got a little tassel here. And then I took some rondelles and I made little drops. And you'll see what I'm going to stack those. You'll see what I do with those. And then this really cool um, bronze with uh, verdigris, very sculptural, pretty bead I'm going to use also. And I pulled some antique copper bead caps, a really pretty uh, kind of coppery filigree kind of bead. Got some fluted beads, more fluted beads that are tiny, some daisy spacers and some really tiny um, bead caps and some small spacer beads in the uh, antique copper. Some little blue kind of shiny things. And then there's a little bit of light blue in here too. So I grabbed some rondelles in different sizes of blue, um, in the blue, kind of a little darker blue and a little lighter. It just, but, but very, very pale. And then of course I found these seed beads. So we'll be using those. I have those pulled out. Because there is just the tiniest bit of blue in here, like right here. And I wanted to pick that up. So that's what's fun about these. I love to take a piece um, and jump. You know, it's another form of inspiration. You've already got the gorgeous colors. And all you got to do is pull those beads out and decide where, how you want to string them, really, is about it. So let me get our soft flex going. So we can start stringing. I have no plan. Uh, I, asymmetrical stuff, I feel the less plan you have, the better. So I'm going to pull some of this amazing soft flex. Absolutely love to string with this. It's just so nice to string with. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach our string to this. All right, so I think I'm gonna start, I did have one little idea and I'm gonna just bear with me, but I think I'm gonna do beading up to about here. Then I'm gonna make a loop and the clasp is gonna be on the side. So it's gonna be like that, beading all the way up that way. Let me turn my camera a little bit so you can see. All right. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this side first. Uh, and then I will do this bit, big long side. So for now, what I need to do is figure out what I want to put right here. And I think I want to put a couple of druzy beads and I'm going to do a stacking, you know, like blocks of color even though it's going to be asymmetrical. You'll see what I mean as I go forward. Uh, 
uh, let's see. I think I'm going to space those out with some blue seed beads. And I'm just going to do three. Maybe, well, maybe five. No, three. Three. And then maybe we'll accent that with our copper copper bead Ooh, he doesn't want to cooperate there we go okay then I thought yeah let's do some pinks I'm going to do five of these Odd numbers always look more interesting to the eye. That's really the only rule I kind of use when stringing. Okay. Little blue bead. I'm going to grab some of these teal beads. I'm not going to put anything between those. See where I'm going with this? So let's see. I think we'll do a barrel bead. We'll do a little light blue bead and then a barrel bead we're getting towards where I'm going to need to how about one of these that's fun okay let's grab a couple of these guys I think I'll do three of those Okay, now I'm getting to the spot where maybe I want to, well, let me, let me do, oh, okay. So right here, I'm going to do this dangle thing. So these are going to, if you can hear that, that's my mom mopping. You okay, Mom? Oh, bye. Getting the floor all clean? Floor's looking good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I just didn't want you to hear that noise and wonder what that was. That's my mom. Okay. <laughs> Invading her space. Invading my space, she says. That's funny. All right. So I'm going to put these dangles on, like, as a big cluster. So I made these ahead of time, and they're just... A seed bead with a rondel that I've wire wrapped and you want to wire wrap them so they don't come off the soft flex if you just do a, a simple loop there's that gap that could your beads can come out so you want them to be secure and I don't even know how many of these I made let's see five six seven eight nine ten eleven make as many as you want uh, the more you make the thicker the spot the area is that they'll be taking up but do what you want I did this for texture again we're going for an asymmetrical look here and I think I'm going to take this bead do I want to do this bead yeah boy none of my beads want to cooperate today there we go now, I think I'm going to make my loop. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me do some. I'm going to do a bead cap for this one. Oops. Let 
The nice thing about doing it this way is I can pull more uh, wire if I need it. But now I have to fight with this again. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay. Now we're going to make our... I'm going to take one of these little copper... So I'm going to make a loop with seed beads to kind of add more of that blue. I'm going to put a crimp cover here. This is going to be our loop that our, our, oh, look at that. I missed one. Back up a minute. So I have 12 of these. Okay. Sorry about that, folks, but it happens. <sighs> Sometimes these bigger beads are hard to get, line up the hole. There we go. All right. <laughs> my eyesight I don't know what's up I got new glasses that can't be it all right we're going back to where we were uh, crimp bead and now I'm going to make a loop of about 15 of these seed beads so I'm just going to Oh, I remember my little trick. I don't know if you watched this the last time I did this, but it was easier to put these in the triangle and then you can scoop them up. She says that she can't cr quite grab any beads. <laughs> I love it when a plan doesn't come together. <laughs> Some days, some days you feel like Audrey Hepburn and other days you feel like Lucille Ball. I think I'm having a Lucille Ball moment. <laughs> okay, three. I know. Hang in there with me. It is faster this way, I promise. Come on. I tell you what, I'm going to string 15 of these on. I'm not going to make you suffer through watching me fumble with these, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my seed beads on, and I'm going to make my loop now. Let me move this over. And I'm just making this, I'm just making a seed bead loop. And now we're gonna crimp. Oh, that's Ginger saying hello. <laughs> we live next to a church and they're having a outdoor, outdoor function with the kiddos and A, she can hear the kids and B, they have microphones. So, <laughs> uh, grandma's in here shushing her. <laughs> Yeah, no one sneaks up on this house, I tell you. But she's like the town crier some days. <laughs> okay, 
And I am going to put a crimp cover on this. You could also use the magical crimping tool from Softflex if you have one. I just thought this would add another like beaded look. So I'm just going to attach this. Just gently squeeze that. All right. All right, so we've got our shorter end to our necklace. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna string all of this and then it's gonna connect right here and you'll see what I do then. So I do wanna get these little stick guys. I wanted the longer side to have those, but um, let's see. Let me grab a blue bead. Maybe I'll do a bead cap. This is like a dragon agate dyed and it's gently faceted. It's really pretty. I don't remember where I got that, but may have gotten it from Bargain Bead Box, actually. All right. Okay. Then let's do... We haven't used these yet. Let's do five of these. And I think we'll do some daisy spacers in between. None of my beads want to string today. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I had too much coffee. That might be it, actually. So I hey, my hands are shaking just a bit. Maybe don't drink a lot of coffee before you make jewelry. <laughs> I do love my caffeine, though. I gotta have it. Gotta have it. And we just discovered a coffee, community coffee. Have any of you tried that? We like the New Orleans blend. And then they have a pecan praline. Oh, it smells heavenly when it's cooking when it's percolating I should say okay so now we've got these guys I think I'm going to add a three blue maybe some smaller blue Okay, I'm going to do some of these fluted. Well, maybe just one. Okay. I think it's time for some, some uh, goldstone. Let's see here. I kind of, I don't want them to be, they're already irregular, if you know what I mean. But I don't want real long ones and I don't want real tiny ones. So let's see.
Let's see how that looks. And I think I'm going to put a seed bead between each one. Oh, that hole's really close to the edge, I think. I better pick something else. Hope y'all are having a great weekend. Um, it's threatening to rain here. It is so humid. It feels like one big raindrop has enveloped the city. <laughs> And it's just sitting over us. It's just crazy. Even my dogs, you know, they love to go out, but they're not staying out very long. So it's just not comfortable to have that much humidity. All right. I think this gold stone is so pretty. I love the dark blue. If you've ever seen the dark blue, it looks like a midnight sky. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I think I'm going to take this piece instead. I love gold stone. All right. I like that. Okay. So let me grab a couple more of these. Let's see, we're gonna do a, this fun bead, but I think I wanna do it higher up. Um, let's do some pink. Let's do three pink. Or let's do pink. Actually, let's do one of these bicones, or the bicones in between. Yeah, I like that. Then let's put our, let's see. Let me s I want this bead to be up like up here. So We've got this much space, let me think. Let's do three of these. And we'll put some teal, smaller teal beads in between. Let's see. So the trick with these is make little individual patterns in blocks of color. And as long as they're all in the same color family, it's going to look, it's going to coordinate, even if it's asymmetrical. But I thought that look would lend itself really pretty with this pendant. And I've always liked necklaces that do that. They're great letter layering pieces too when you have uh, a necklace like this. In fact, I may do I may do a layering piece with it. Okay, so I need just a little more. I think I'll do some more rondelles here. And this time I'm not going to put anything between them. Yeah. Okay. So bead cap. I thought this was just a fun texture to add. I 
There we go. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a really long line of this pink, but I'm not going to put anything in between. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right. These are really glossy and slick, so the the string is sliding right by the hole. <laughs> That's okay. I am nothing but patient. If I get um, impatient, I know I either don't feel good or I'm tired. <laughs> I'm usually pretty patient. Especially when it comes to this because it's just fun as you all know as us beaters know this is absolutely a blast to do I love that I can give gifts you know they're personal I'm sure you feel the same way and it just it's very meaningful when you can do that okay I'm gonna do three of these guys and I'm going to put these in between always grab extra because there's always an escapee I'm not centered, am I? Sorry about that. Well, there we go. I think I need one more. This is such a pretty blue color. I think they call this sky blue. Okay, getting towards the end there. I'm loving this. I really do like this. Okay, maybe hmm. let's do some of these fluted guys. I think I'll do five. I'm going to grab some more. I think I'm going to do seven of these. If I have seven, I might not have seven. Uh, that's five, six, seven. Yay! Oh, look at us. Okay, let me scooch this around so we can see what's going on. Let me put another little dark bead right there. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's do some light blue. Oh, I forgot about these leaves. Those would be fun with some bicones in between. Let's do that. Ooh. 
This blue color is so pretty. I'm going to go opposite ways with it. Give a little extra interest. That'll kind of pick up this idea with the fringy little drops right here. <laughs> I cannot get my fingers to work today. Jeez. <laughs> All right. And let's finish up with some more of these druzies. Five of those. And we'll put these in between. These are so pretty. They look like little planets. Now you do want enough room. I might have to do only three because I want to have enough room. Yeah, I think I better, I better stop there. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Oh, here's our clasp. Now, if you have a really decorative clasp, I was looking for one. I think I have some somewhere. Uh, this would be a great place to use it because you're going to see the clasp. So I think, you know, if you do a necklace like this, pull out one of your fancier clasp it would be a shame if it was behind somebody's neck and nobody saw it that's what i would do now i am not going to do seed beads on this end i'm going to let the soft flex wire show so we're going to do that that makes sense Just gonna <laughs> oh boy. There we go. You guys about to hear me crack up again because it's a little ridiculous that I can't get my fingers to work. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now I am going to make a big loop because, again, I want the soft flex wire to show because it's so pretty. That adds another little pop of color too. So, you know, I would most definitely. Yeah, I like that. All right. I'm going to trim that little end. And we'll put our bead crimp cover. Well, that was kind of cattywampus. Let's see if I can fix that. Good enough. All right, not done yet. Let me 
open this bad boy. Wow, that's hard to open. Sometimes you have to work these with your fingers. The little spring in there is pretty tight. Let's see. If I can't get it to work, I might have to switch it out. And that's another reason to have extra wire too. If, you know, that way you don't have to restring the whole thing. Let me just see if I can get that. There we go. Okay. So we're not done yet. I've got to grab a jump ring. If I can find one. Uh, hmm. Stay tuned. Okay, found them. I'm going to attach this tassel right here. I just thought it would add another little something-something to the whole situation. An opportunity to add another another texture. Because of the seed beads, I'm getting a, a little bit bigger one. Yay! Let me clear up the board and we'll take a closer look at this. All right, here is our asymmetrical gorgeous necklace with this beautiful piece by Beth Sullivan. And as you can see, it's very fun. You got textures, different you know points of interest with the original, I mean the individual beads that have kind of their own personality and I think it turned out really nice and so this is a nice way to do like a asymmetrical color block necklace and again just remember odd numbers you know do some spacing do some stacking do blocks of color I love the little tassel and Again, you're going to be able to see this clasp when somebody's wearing it. So if you have a fancy clasp, that's the time to use it. So I hope you like it. I think it's very cute. I can't wait to make more. I've got so many of her pendants. I'm so excited. I went and bought some bales, too, to glue on some of the pieces. And um, so I'll be playing with these some more. So... Definitely stay tuned for that. Let me just bring this up a little. You can get a closer view. I realized when I was filming this, I was a little off to the side. It's because I have new, a new light. <laughs> and I was moving this way. I hope, 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 hope that wasn't too much of a problem. Uh, I will get better now that I have this new equipment or this new... I have something new that I put my phone on to do my videos and I have to get used to it. But it doesn't shake like the other one that I had, which is one of the reasons why I got it. So there's no shaking. Anyhow, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't. For those of you who have subscribed, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Do try this yourself. It's a very freeing way to string because you don't have to really think about it too hard. You know, you just get your stash together and just create some patterns and some blocks of color and have fun with it. You know, do some texture. Maybe you have an odd bead that you haven't used because you only had one. This also is a good opportune time to use those 
leftover really interesting one-of-a-kind beads that you have as well. And then of course, stringing with soft flex, you can't go wrong. It's so nice to string with, even though my hands weren't working. <laughs> that's nothing against soft flex, believe me, that's my hands. And drinking probably too much coffee this morning, which I was thoroughly enjoying, but apparently not good for the stringing. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care of your sweet selves and your families and be safe. And I will see you on the next video.